Hello, today we're going to use the TIGWELD 200SX and weld up a lap joint using some 16 gauge 304 stainless steel. We're going to use a CK Worldwide Gas Saver Torch Assembly that has a special collet body and also has a special screen gas diffuser that fits into the end of the assembly that looks like this. It also has a special collet that we have to use with the collet body. It also has a special Teflon adapter for our torch, as well as a see-through high-temperature Pyrex gas cup. I used a couple of strong hand clamps and a section of flat bar to clamp the lap joint down to the table surface, and that's what it looked like. I went ahead and put a tack on the end of the joint. I also put another tack at the other end of the joint and then proceeded to go ahead and put one more tack right in the middle so that it didn't lift up or warp as I started down the joint. I had the machine set on DC TIG for about 30 amps. So then I went ahead and started to weld up the joint. I kept about a 15 degree angle on the tungsten with respect to the axis of the joint and tried to keep the fo tungsten focused on the upper edge of the top plate trying to carefully melt that down on and into the lower plate making sure that I kept a short arc length and kept the tungsten focused right there on that upper edge and proceeded along with a very consistent and constant travel speed watching and making sure that each side of the joint melted in evenly. As I came up to the tack weld there, carefully just melted the tack right into the weld and kept moving right along. So that's something that you don't want to do is leave a big tack weld there so it leaves a big mark or something like that. So we want to make sure that we keep proceeding right on through the tack weld there so that doesn't affect us. I also want to move as long as fast as I can to prevent any kind of carbide precipitation or what we call sugaring on the back side of the weld. So I don't want to overheat it. And like I said, I'm running just about 30 amps, between 25 and 30 amps there, and moving along at probably 5 or 6 inches per minute here. Keeping it down there real close and real tight. And then as I get to the end, I want to taper off the pedal so as not to leave any kind of divot or crater crack. And there we go. Once it cooled off, I went ahead and removed the strong iron clamps and the flat bar and flipped over the piece to make sure that I didn't get any bird through or carbide precipitation on the back side of the joint. There's the back of the lap weld just to the left of the joint. Just above the joint you'll see the area after I wire brushed it off. And the weld itself looked smooth and clean.